Last video we installed our ESXi, but we didn't talk too much about the hardware. Uh, so we have a server right here. It's Dell, and you guys can see it's Dell Power Edge 1950, and uh, it's two um, Intel Core CPUs. And basically, you guys can see right there, 16 GB RAM, and the IP address is a DHCP, which we didn't change it to static. Now, most cases you might want to st change that to static, but in lab it doesn't matter. I'll show you guys how to reset it. So let's talk about the server and how it's connected. Basically, for lab you don't need too much. Any um, Ethernet or wire that you have, or Wi-Fi or, or router that you're using, you can plug it in as long as you have an internet connection. Uh, usually, you know, most of the router come with the 192 address. Some of them come with different addresses, but you just plug it into one of your Ethernet. So uh, once you plug it in, you have internet connection. So you're basically good with this. Now. Uh, to show the server, let's go ahead and open this up. Just gonna show you guys how it looks. Usually, you won't do this type of things without a proper security, but I don't care. This is just a test thing, so that's why it's on. But as I can tell you guys how loud it is because of this when I take the thing off. Now, there's where all the memory, RAM, all this, 16 GB, each is about 2 gigs. So, 2, 4, and you guys can see right here, 8, 8, 16. And all these fans right here makes it cool. The purpose of this video is to show you guys hardware is important when you guys do virtualization because you need a powerful system to, to do all these labs on one system. Now, in real production environment, you don't just use one server like this. You have many servers. You might have two or three big virtual host systems that have a lot of RAMs in there and taking care of things. All right, so now the question is, can you create your lab on a normal PC? The answer is yes, you can. So basically, you will unplug your Ethernet, plug it into this PC. This is normal Dell old PC with two gigs of RAM. Um, and then it has a dual core um, a CPU. So the problem with this is that um, at some point you'll run out, run out of the resources. And this is something that's going to be really needed when you do things on ESXi, like you know labs like that. Want to get all these servers that require at least one gig of RAM. And then I try to keep it more because you know most of the time if you're running all these services or deployments and things like that you are going to really need some good RAM and that's why I love to use a server because it's a dual core uh, two CPUs and then 16 GB RAM it just you usually have a lot of freedom to kind of you know let the system run and not um, you know it doesn't just go down uh, because at some point you will definitely require something bigger but for your lab you know you if you have a powerful PC a lot of these laptops or a desktop you get you, if you can afford it you can get it you can get a 32 bit uh, GB RAM and they're getting 16 these days i7 and dual core quad core uh, CPUs are pretty powerful so you can use it but like, again uh, not many uh, people will be using uh, computers to do this type of stuff they'll be using servers to these type of stuff because that kind of built because of the whole um, uh, Two, two, uh, two or more CPUs kind of thing, you know. So that's kind of, yeah, you can do it. You can plug it in. You can plug in the same way we did with the server. You can plug your USB, start this machine, and at the end, you will also get the IP address just like we did on the server. So you're basically at the same bar. But again, if you don't want to do this, you can access our $9.99 to get to this server and other servers that we have for your lab. So you are going to basically save this time. So when you start your server or your machine that you just built, basically you will see something like this. And now we're gonna basically go over some uh, some of the basic settings of um, when the uh, ESXi starts and things like password changing. Uh, if you want to make a static IP address, or if you want to reset your um, internet settings, you can do that from here. When you start your machine. Uh, you should be able to access it from like a USB keyboard or uh, anything that you're using KVM or something like that. 
All right, so when you start your um, VMware ESXi for the first time, you'll see a DHCP address. Like, like I said, it's up to you. You can change it to a static, which is good if something happens to the IP addresses. But if you don't care about it, if you can come back and check the IP address again, it's up to you. So I'm going to keep it DHCP for my lab purpose of, to make it easier. But if you can change it to static, it's up to you. Like if you click on F2 right here to go to configuration right here. So if you... Uh, sometimes you want to check your logs if something goes bad you can check it from here if you can access the the GUI but so let's do the F2 this is where you will need your username and password that you just created in the last video um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so this is what you will get some of the options you can change the password from here you can configure log download or you can do um, configure manage networks so this is where you can see right here is the local host it gives you the IP address right there IPv6 too uh, and the DHCP server is my router 9268.1.1 um, you can restart network management uh, from here uh, you can test network if you see if everything is working you can do a network restore option which is something that if let's say for example uh, you plugged in um, your ethernet in one of the let's say another network card and it's not on but you know that other one is working you can get the IP address from here without restarting the whole server you can just do the reset from here so if you click here and say restore network settings you can do that I'm not gonna do that since I already have that um, so to do go back you just click on escape um, other things like that you can check the vlogs like I said this is for troubleshooting, so you can have syslogs right there, other logs, you have configuration, things like that, you know. Since this is not a VMware uh, course, we're not going to go to details. This is basically a system administration course, so we're going to keep things uh, clear. To, and you can do a reset system configuration from here. If you want to do everything and revert it to a software default, you can just do it from here. If you mess up things, you can just do it from here. Um, to go back... If you want to restart this machine, you can just click on F12. It's going to ask you for username and password, and you can restart. So with this, we did our hardware section for this course. Like I said, this is not a VMware class, so we're not doing anything detailed for VMware. We just need to make sure that we know some basics of how to do things. So I will see you guys in a different video. The next video is going to be configuring our storage on VMware for our server stuff and uh, also the ISO upload, how to upload ISO so that we can start, um, basically we can start our operating systems like servers 2012 domain controller and the Linux domain controller, how to basically install it now on this system. That's what we're going to do in the next videos. Thank you.